Customer relationship management is a very important part of the marketing process. Maintaining a proper relationship with the customer is vital for attracting, maintaining, and retaining customers. A small fact, retaining customers is less costlier than attracting new customers. CRM is not all about retention. It is about attracting new customers as well. You'll understand as we talk about it in details. Now a small reminder to like and subscribe and everything. Alright, let's talk about CRM in details. Customer relationship management is all about interacting with your customers. But CRM is not just about behaving well with the customers you have. It is about how you interact with them before they purchase from you, how you interact with them during purchasing process and of course after the purchase is over. It is about finding out how the customers are responding to your behavior, then keeping a record of it and change your behavior to the way that the customers respond to the best. You have to reshape the way you interact with the customers according to what got the best response. That's it. It is simple. But do companies sometimes go too far with it? Yes, they do. But let me just talk about the main principles in details a little bit. So, the first thing you need to know is that not every business can go to a certain extent with the customer relationship management. Tech-based companies have a much bigger advantage in customer relationship management compared to my favorite example that is a bakery. Because it is easier to gather information about a customer in a software when they are buying something online co compared to when they are buying a cupcake from a bakery. Well, if they are ordering a cupcake online then it is a different situation. Anyway, when a new customer comes to buy from you, first you need to know which demographic do they fall into. It can help you understand your own target market better. Let's say that you originally targeted people over 60 for whatever you are selling. Then you find out that more than 50% of your actual consumers are people aged under 40. Then you have two information in your mind. One, good news. You have successfully captured a market segment that you are not even trying to cater to. Two, bad news. Your initial judgment about your own product was wrong. Now you have to find out how to cater to this group better so that they feel valued as your customers. Another thing, if you have a lot of product offerings, find out who is buying what. In a bakery, not everyone is going to buy cupcakes. You need to find out if a certain demographic has any preference over any specific item that you are offering. If you don't find any correlation between any specific demographic with a specific product offering, then you will know that the people that buy from you are choosing from your entire product portfolio, not picking and choosing which products they like more. Maybe all of your products are of great quality. Another thing you need to know is you need to find out the customer contact history. The customer contact with your people. The customer contact with you, not with others. How they respond to your employee interactions. That is an important part of the overall customer experience. Even if you are an online business, you need to know if the customers had to wait a long time to make a decision, if their questions were answered before making the purchase decision or not. How well your own employees are at solving any problems your customers might have. And with that data, you need to design a better customer experience for everyone, your existing and future customers. You also need to find out whether the existing customers and potential customers are responding to your ad campaign the way you want them to. 
find out how they behave when they are exposed to one of your ads. Once again, it is much easier to do for tech-based companies. Is your sales going up when you introduce a new ad campaign? Is it going down or is it staying the same? You have to keep track of the way people are responding to your ad campaigns. After getting all the data, you need to make a blueprint of what the ideal customer experience is going to look like. It is not going to be the same for everybody. Still, you need to find out how the customers respond the best. Then design everything accordingly. Absolutely everything so that everyone has a great time and your existing customers never want to leave. And there are other benefits of a good customer relationship management system as well. Your own business will be efficient and the problems that the customers might have post-purchase can be solved as fast as possible, which in turn will save you some money as well. You can customize your offerings based on the types of customers you have. But customization is another tricky subject. You cannot customize too far as it can get pretty costly pretty fast. Now, there are some things you need to consider while designing your own customer relationship management. That is, I've already said don't go too far. You might think you need a lot of information on the customers to better understand who they are and what they want. So that you can serve them better, right? But customers do not appreciate that all the time. It is okay to ask them if they are satisfied with your services. However, it is not okay to ask intrusive questions that the customers may feel uncomfortable to answer you. And yes, recently companies have been caught spying on its consumers in the name of serving them better. But the consumers don't really like that, do they? Consider this situation as a customer's perspective. If you are buying from somebody, you might have one of two feelings. You might think, oh, they just know what I want. You might feel good. You might think that the company really understands you and your needs. Another thing can happen. It can easily turn into, hey, wait a minute. How do they know what do I want? The customers might feel like the company is stalking them. Customers do not like that. Another thing you need to keep in mind is it is not easy to keep track of your customers. You will need powerful softwares and also people that can keep track of the data and present the information you need from the data. And that requires a lot of time and money. Not a lot of companies can afford that. So, if you are a company that is just starting out, you have to be careful about how much of your time and money you are going to invest in this specific area of your business. Your website was probably the best. The customer service was excellent. The delivery was speedy. But the main product turned out to be faulty. Then you will need more after sales services to cover up that pitfall. That is it. I hope you understand this topic well. If you have any questions, you can ask below. I might answer it below or make a separate community post answering the question. You can like, share and subscribe and everything else. You can also support this channel on Patreon if you want to directly support whatever it is I am doing in this channel. You can also just watch another video on this channel. That will also be a way of supporting me on whatever it is I'm doing in this channel. Now, time for a small bonus. Nobel Prize 1907 Physics Albert A. Michelson Not sure about the pronunciation, but this guy won the Nobel Prize in 1907. Another small thing. If you want to retain your customers, you can also increase switching cost.
Switching cost is the cost a customer is going to incur when they change the brand they are buying from. Not the product, the brand. Maybe customers need to use your products in a different way than your competitors. Then they need to learn how to use the same product in a completely new way. That would be a switching cost. Maybe they have bought accessories that are useful only with your own products. Those things will go to waste if they switch the brand. That was switching cost. If you want me to talk about switching costs in details, you can comment below. But this is just a small bonus for the people that stuck around to the end of the video. This is the official end of this video. Thank you so much for watching if you are still watching. Don't forget to take care of yourself. And lastly, I hope you have learned something new today. Goodbye for now.